Good morning boys and girls. Um, we are privileged again to continue learning about the I am things of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, so far we have looked at the I am saying of Jesus which he said that he is the bread of life and that is the light of the world. He also said that I am the door. Today we shall continue to learn about the I am sayings and today we will specifically look at the saying that Jesus claimed that is the way, the truth and the life. This is Aunt Brenda and before we continue looking at this I am saying of Christ that is the way, the truth, and the life, let us pray. Our God and Father in heaven, we thank you that we can once again look into your word, especially in the things that you yourself said about who you are. And today as we look at you being the way, the truth, and the life, we ask our Father that the children boys and girls who pay attention so that they learn what you have for them this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so, today our lesson is focused on the I am saying of Christ, as I've already said, that is the way, the truth, and the life, which is from the book of John, chapter 14, Verse 6. And uh, just read the Bible. Follow carefully as I read for you. We'll begin from where the disciples are now asking him the question because when he said that is the way, the truth, and the life, one of the disciples, whose name is John, asked him and said, but where are you going? The Bible reads, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have not told you that? I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also, and you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my father too. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. So just like you children, here when Jesus says he's a way, for example, there where we are or here where we are at Loop Road School, if you want to go to Manda Hill, how many routes would you use? If you, you are from your school there, you get in Tunda Mwenja Road, then you want to go to Manda Hill. Probably some of them, you turn to your right, then you can go to our gates, join Greatest Road, then you'll be able to get to Manda Hill. You can also turn to your left, get into at the Sababa Road and also again into Greatest Road and you'll be at Manda Hill. So going to Manda Hill, there are many ways that you can use to get to Manda Hill. But here, Jesus Christ is telling us in John chapter 14 verse 6 that he is the way. If you want to go where Jesus is, 
you do, there are no four ways about it there are no two ways about it it's just one way only jesus remember he says no one can go to the father except through him so you have to know him and he, him being the way in a sense is telling us that he is the road okay he doesn't give you directions i don't know if in this class or in this group we have a mapalo or a malumbo or a lusungu he doesn't say lusungu you take the road the right turn the left him says i am the way so what you need to do to go and be where he is remember we have already read that he, he told the disciples that i'm going to prepare a place for you and he, he said that i'll come again so that i take you where you'll be so for now all you need to do is to trust him just follow him if you have him you know him all you need to do is to follow him he will not tell you turn to the right turn to the what you just have to follow him and you'll be where he is he has also told us that he is the truth what is the truth someone would ask and especially in the times that we are living in I know that you are still young but those who are older you may know that people say that truth is relative which means that what you believe to be true another person can believe to be wrong but that is not the way it should be truth is truth for example if i ask you 2 plus 2 what is the answer the answer there would be 4 can we prove that 2 plus 2 is 4 of course we can prove for example we can divide our fingers in two okay here they are my two fingers and the other two if we combine them that is if we count them together we'll say one two three and four so here we have proved that two plus two is four and they say the, the, the same is true about jesus christ he is saying is the truth how else would you want to know about the truth if not from him jesus christ himself from his mouth this is in fact why we believe that jesus is the truth because he himself said that he was the truth this is exciting news boys and girls you know christ you know the truth another example for you to prove that uh, something is true is for example the sky you look outside the window there I'm sure when you look, you'll be able to see that the sky is, what color is the sky? The sky is blue. So we are able to prove that the sky is blue because it is blue. There are no two ways about it. Sometimes there will be clouds in the sky, but they will go. And when they go, we will again be able to see that the sky is blue so the truth is truth it is not relative and for you and me boys and girls we must always make sure that we trust what jesus said especially the things he said about himself the other truth he said about himself is that he is the life okay jesus is the life and what kind of life does he give remember even at creation you read john chapter 1 verses 1 probably to 10 there you find that he is the life because everything that has been created 
was made by him, by his word. Everything that has life today, the animals, I don't know what kind of animals you know, some of you know, some of you know lions, some of you know crocodiles, uh, we have dogs, so we have various kinds of things, including trees. They are all living things, and only by the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ do they have life. But what kind of life does Jesus give to us? Jesus gives to us eternal life. As we read in John chapter 3, verse 16. So this is the life that Jesus gives to us. Let me just read for you John chapter 3, verse 16. And there, the Bible tells us that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So this is the kind of life that Jesus gives to you if you believe and trust in him. Okay? So for us to help ourselves remember our memory verse, which is uh, John chapter 14, verse 6. We are going to sing a song. And uh, I hope I can remember the signs. When I sing through once, you can join me. But even if we don't use signs, we can still sing it. We use it as our memory guide or help. Okay. It's a song which I think maybe you already even know it. It goes like this. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus says. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus says. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus says. Okay, I think you can now repeat after me or let's sing together. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus says. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus says. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus says. So thank you, boys and girls. Remember John chapter 14, verse 6. Remember to memorize it. You can memorize it using words or using that song. You can keep learning it so that you can use it to always remember that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Without the way, you cannot go anywhere. And this, in this case, you can't go to heaven. Without the truth, you can't know. And this way, you can't know the way to go to heaven. And without life, you can't grow, you can't live. So you need life. And that life is in Christ. If you want to grow, you want to go to heaven, you want to know the Lord Jesus Christ, trust in him. Let him be your way. Let him be your truth. Let him be your life. Love you, boys and girls. This is Auntie Brenda saying, see you again. Bye. Oh, I